decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before. Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, this building is China's state guest house. Here, the very best chefs in China prepare the banquets and entertain the country's state guests. The chefs here are referred to as high-class technicians. Of the 10 million chefs in China, only around 100 have received this honorable license. And through my research, I came across a chef who became the youngest to qualify for this license. Xiaoping, former leader of China, once took this man under his wing. And upon further study, I was pleasantly surprised to learn that he had been recruited by a resort hotel in Japan. Today's challenger, a genius recognized by the Chinese government, head chef of Hotel Sun Valley Nasu, Wang Zhi Jiang. Wang stepped into the world of cooking during the Great Cultural Revolution. After graduating from middle school, Wang followed the recommendation of local leaders and started apprenticeship as a cook. At 17, Wang joined the ranks of the prominent Beijing Hotel, catering to VIPs from around the world. The menu covering all four major styles in Chinese cooking. It was the perfect environment for a genius to absorb all the basic techniques and flavorings of all styles. And it was no surprise that Wang found himself at the top of the ladder in less than 10 years. He quickly became a name to be reckoned with and was recruited as a chef for the state guest house to head the kitchen at a mere age of 30. Wang continued to satisfy the leaders of China and state guests. Deng Xiaoping and Chao Ziyang were more than mere fans of Wang's food. The former leader of our country, Deng Xiaoping, had a true affinity to the noodles and clear soup that I prepared for him. In 1984, Wang was commissioned with the greatest honor of his career. He was put in charge of Deng Xiaoping's 80th birthday banquet. At this party, Dang was more than satisfied with Wang's dishes, all original menus made exclusively for the occasion. And in 1993, for all his accomplishments, the Chinese government awarded him the high-class technician license. Shortly after, he flew to Japan, headhunted with a huge paycheck by a Japanese hotel in Nasu. creation certified by the Chinese government indeed reflects the very heights of the Chinese culture itself and people say his noodles are out of this world in Chinese cooking he who conquers flames conquers taste once Deng Xiaoping's private chef he now honors my kitchen stadium with his presence 
So now, Wang, supreme culinary achiever, show me the heights of the great Chinese culture. I have a chance to win. I'll do my best. A brilliant Chinese chef, the highest certification from Beijing with officials from the Chinese embassy looking on from the royal box. And our guest today is a poet, Machi Tawada. Welcome to the show. It's my pleasure to be here. Tawada-san, today the cooking and the tasting, uh, which one, any preference? Oh, I, I like both very much. Yes, I've been looking forward to this. All right, and if inspiration strikes today, feel free to give us a poem. Oh. <laughs> and our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Doc? Always a pleasure. Time now, let's bring on Chairman Kaga. Kono Kitchen Stadium Hajimate Rai Sai Kyo no Chungok Liori no Chosen Shangayat de Marimest. Ano Tosho Heshi no Liori Ban to you are Hajisai no Tanjo Party Nima Sono Liori o Soshiki. Iskamo Chungok no Liori Kai Deva. 最高の位である高級技師の地位を最年少で獲得そのプロフィールを聞いた時私は驚きを感じずにはいられませんでさあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください中国政府お抱えの料理人ワンチーチェン a Chinese chef of extraordinary rank, his qualification acquired by only one in 100,000 chefs. We're anticipating an incredible showing from Wong today. Nice to meet you, sir. ようこそいらっしゃいました。ありがとうございます。え、今日はあなたのためにえ、中国大使館の方々も応援に駆けつけています。どうぞ実力を発揮してください。I'll Thank you. さあ、それでは我が美食アカデミーが誇る3人の鉄人を登場させましょう。よみがえるわいアイアンシェフ。Making their ascent into kitchen stadium, men of metal, your iron chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. え、あなたがお持ちの高級技師という資格と鉄人という名誉、どちらが上か確かめてください。Very well. さあ、誰と戦う! Michiba-san! Michiba! All right! Wong, who's right at the top in Chinese cuisine against Michiba, who's right at the top in Japanese cuisine. Iron Chef Japanese, Rotsaburo Michiba, the groundbreaker, always searching, breathing new life into tradition-bound Japanese cuisine. No boundaries to his cooking or use of ingredients. And today, no margin for error against this challenger. Tou-shou-hei-shi-no-ryori-ban-ni どんな素材を与えようかこれは非常に難しい問題でした今までとは違い常識の殻を破って考えなければと思った時に思いついたのです殻を破るといえばあの素材ですそれでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです
fried eggs have never had it as good as they'll have it today with two preeminent chefs, the mighty one, Iron Chef Michiba and Challenger Wong, men who reside at the very top of their cuisines. We are set. Let's get it on. Audit cuisine. Bangagon, we are on in what promises to be an exciting matchup. 60 minutes of cooking in this cross-cuisine affair, beginning with Wong being the first one up to the stand, and now getting his hands on the mound of eggs up there. Gosh, the challenger is so young. Very youthful appearance oh, and demeanor for a guy uh -huh. who is 40 yeah. years of age, but that is a young age for yeah. one to uh, have the high-class cooking technician license in China. And Doc Hattori, the theme ingredient, there are a wide range of possibilities today. Oh yeah, you can use pretty much the whole egg or you can separate it up into just the yolk or just the egg whites. And then there's the, the ways to prepare it. You can fry it, steam it, boil it. And then there's also the uh, the odds they might actually be beating the eggs for some things okay. and could even use the shells. Shells even. All right, now Challenger Wong, he's already putting something in the steamer lid on that over there. Didn't see what that was. It was in a bowl, plastic wrap sealing it, and now flour here. On. Yeah, so to from the floor. I have some comments given by the challenger before the battle talking about the show. He said it's very unique and as a chef I was interested in this show. I think I'm gonna have fun. Concerning Iron Chef Michiba, he said I've heard that this man is a great chef and he also referred to the battle by saying I've never lost a cooking contest in my entire life and I'm not about to start now. He's full of confidence. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's never lost a cooking competition ever. So, Iron Chef Michiba really up against it in this one. Wong undefeated, no experience ever having lost. And here today, cooking before staff from the Chinese Embassy in Tokyo, plus his wife and daughter. That was a shot of them up in the royal box. And a lot of early action on his side. Yes. We've just received word that Challenger Wong will be using the board for making his own noodles. All right. Whoa, wow. That was with the flour. Great. But uh, wouldn't he need time to let that dough settle before getting into noodles? Well, normally to do it the, the regular way, yeah. But he might have to, because of the time limit, alter his... With one hour, his right? Yeah. Could be. And now look, here's the Iron Chef, his trademark broth of vigor, <laughs> getting that going. And he looks pretty <laughs> occupied, too. Convenient chopsticks holder there. And let's see. Piling in the dried Benito shavings, the katsubushi. Yes. I have some comments from Iron Chef Michiba also made before the battle. He says just because the challenge is recognized by the Chinese government, license is not what's important. What's important is the challenge he conquers, the amount of experience he has under his belt, but he has the face of a great chef, so I know it's not going to be easy. Mm, wow. <laughs> All right. Fun. Michiba able to recognize Wong's caliber just from his appearance. Yeah, now, Wong with this. Temperature with his palm. <laughs> well, that'll tell you exactly how hot the pan is. And now, look at this here. Yeah. Uh, if you're making an omelet, it's, it's better not to use oil, especially when you're trying to make the thicker omelets. All right. But that palm business, uh, leave, leave that to the geniuses. Don't try that at home, okay? Exactly, exactly. It looks like a crepe, doesn't it? The way it's Right, sort of yeah, being up. very thin there. Mm -hmm. All right, maybe a crepe with the Chinese flavor is what he's got in mind. That could very well be, yeah. Now, over on the Iron Chef side there, he's got the pressure cooker, right? All right, and going in right there. What's for? Uh, shark fin. What are those blue things? Shark fins, laying them down on the other item. Not too sure about that. Okay, well, it could maybe be a rice Whoa, dish. slam it down, <laughs> Wong, right out of there. Oh, some thin layers there, oh, yeah. yeah really maybe he's thin. making one for everybody. Mm, well, I hope so. Could very well be. <laughs> yes. Regarding these thin layers of egg, we're getting hints that lead us to believe that he may be making shao mai with these as the skins or the wraps. Oh, an egg shao mai. Mm. Well, that'll be a first around here. So eggs instead of the dumpling so skin. You need right, yeah. Pump. And if you notice those eggs, the, the color of the yolk is so beautiful, it means it's a great quality. Oh. All right, now the Iron Chef here and Ooh, and look at the yolks in there. Yeah, well, mm. it's so fresh. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Good, excellent quality these eggs. Definitely, yeah. All right, now adding this to the bowl. Yeah, I think that's just some flour. All right, flour. It's going to get mixed in there as he walks over to the sink and a quick rinse of the hand. Okay. Almost ten minutes into the battle, and I see some uni over there. It looks like he's fixing to mix that in too. Mm, yeah, gosh, it looks great already. It's sea urchin right. roll and <laughs> eggs. Yeah, wow. Cuisine. Yes. As you just said, the ingredients in the Iron Chef's bowl are eggs, sea urchin roll, and not just plain flour, but ukiko flour. Oh, ukiko. Okay. okay, and the difference is? Well, it's still flour, but it's the top layer that you get when you make flour. It's the, the stuff that's just loaded with protein. All right, now Challenger Wong, and look at this. That definitely says he's going to be making mm -hmm. skins for shao mai oh, with yeah. these here. Meantime, on the other side, the Iron Chef think he has started in on his menu writing, or he shortly will, and we'll know what he's making, but if uh, Wong was to take a look, he couldn't read that. But I guess he can listen to us and pick it up. Ooh, 
what was yeah, that? What is that? Right here, the challenger side. Yeah. Kudzu starch and milk, maybe? It looked like swallow's nest to me, actually. Swallow's nest, all yeah, right. That's, that's what it appeared to be, anyway. Wow. Fukuzan? Yes. Hattori-san is exactly right. It was swallow's nest. Wow. All right, swallow's wow. nest, very Chinese. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing this will be a dessert, then. Dessert, using swallow's nest. Hmm, really? It's actually a very common use for it, yeah. All right, oh. well, maybe common for you, but I've never had it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, to me, it suggests it might be a soup. Dessert, using swallow's yeah, nest by the challenger. Now here on the Iron Chef side, the assistant working on the mix that Michiba had. He's straining it there. Really going to get it fine and a study wow. in concentration. Iron Chef Michiba, he is all business today in this one. <laughs> study in concentration. Iron Chef Japanese Michiba, he is all business in this one today. Coming into this battle, check it out. The numbers, a record of 21 wins, just two losses. But on the other side, a formidable foe in Challenger Wong. The menu writing continues. And Soman noodles. Okay. All right, Soman. With sea urchin. Yeah. Must be the ones he's already mixed up. He was straining are with Ukiko. The noodles. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah. Used for the noodles. Uh -huh. Now this one here is uh, can that shredded armlet and what? Vermicelli. vermicelli. Yes. Yeah. And uh, chop che. Chop che. What's that all about? I wonder. <laughs> Boy, going far too international for me here. <laughs> well, chop che. What is it? Uh, it's not French. I can tell you. <laughs> I've got no idea what it is. Maybe it's some ethnic Asian. Just have to wait and see what he means. And now back on Wong's side and oh. here. Okay, this is the one that he was working on earlier, the one right? With the swallow's nest, right? And adding some beaten eggs and to it. Egg yes. yes. The challenger says he's setting his sights on making four dishes today, including the dessert that we're looking at right now. A total of four dishes for the challenger. All right, thanks, Ota. That one thickening up nicely. 15 minutes, 15 minutes, minutes gone now, and here on Michiba's side. Yeah, he's making thin almost now. They'll be shredded later. It's called a kinshi. Okay, well. in the rectangular pan. And he's got something at the end there. What is that? Shark, shark the fin? The white fuyo. Oh, fuyo, okay. Well, that's yeah. uh, just a term for eggs in Eastern. Mm -hmm. cooking, All right. right. I think I've run into that somewhere before. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, the challenger was making carrot juice in the blender to add to some of his dishes to give them a more, uh, a better color, he says. Mm -hmm. But when he realized the Japanese eggs have great color, he decided that the carrot juice was not necessary after all. He's not going to use it. Back to you. All right. And the color of the eggs, the yolks, a deep yellowish orange. And now unloading this one. Oh, well, pouring it into the spoon. This one's the dessert, right? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, what you're seeing being poured into these Chinese spoons is egg whites. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. All right, egg white only. Wow, this is interesting. Something a little different here. Yeah, wow. And Challenger's doing that. Now the Iron Chef's doing this, cooling down the pressure cooker, off the stove, into the sink. Remember, it had the shark fins in there, and it looks like they're going to open it up right oh, now. Man, I can't wait to see what's in here. Yeah. Besides the shark <laughs> fins, I think they had abalone, had them cooking together. Pressurized action, and now the lid's off, and camera lens fogging up there, but let's see. Hmm, looks like nothing else besides the shark fins uh, and abalone. And, whoa, eggs. whoa. Drops them in no, there? No, no. Oh, oh, dried scallops. Oh, oh, okay, wow. they go in. How luxurious. Okay. Dried scallops. Oh, he's making his noodles over here. Okay, oh. Challenger Wong, yes, should be instructive. Seeing noodles made by one of the very best chefs in all of China. Mm -hmm. Now, I know he wanted to let this dough settle just a little bit longer. Oh, that's right, yeah. It would give the noodles uh, just a perfect texture mm -hmm. if he could have. But, but the man's got to make do with what he can, exactly. given the time yeah. constraint. Exactly, yeah. Focus on. Yes. Challenger Wong is now making his noodles from dough that contains around 20 eggs, and this one is one of the dishes that the late Deng Xiaoping was one of his favorites. Wow, Whoa. and you can enjoy them today. Yeah. <laughs> Noodles fit for a supreme leader. Ooh, how cute. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, it is. Okay, so still sweet. on Wong's side. Now he'll take them out of the spoons later and use them to decorate. That's where he's going with this. Yeah. Mm, he'll take them out? This right here is so cute as it is. I thought it might as well be, you know, presented that way, right? It's possible that way. Yeah, yeah he'll, he'll take them out. That. He just needed the spoons for steaming them. Oh, All right, okay. and only egg white, though. Right, they may be flavored somewhat. You know what? I just picked up Michiba mumbling that if Wong's going to make the noodles he made for Deng Xiaoping, maybe he should make the noodles he made for uh, Prime Minister Moriyama, the former <laughs> Prime Minister. Remember him? <laughs> Why oh, yeah. not? It says Moriyama loved him. Oh, uh, check this out. He's going to make some soman noodles with this. Uh, You'll see him push it out of that. Oh, oh right. How fascinating. With this device here. Yeah, you, wow. you squeeze it out and it goes right into the hot water. Mm, you know, I think I have seen this done somewhere else. Yeah, usually it's it's made for making those fat noodles. Oh, I've never, ones, never right. even seen the device before. <laughs> Just, just watch this. See as it goes into the hot water. Oh, look at wow. that. Amazing. What a great See that? job. Amazing, isn't it? And okay. look at the color, too. And it yeah. hardens in seconds, right? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it somewhat solidifies, but it's not really hard, mm -hmm. right? All right. Mm -hmm. And so these are his egg noodles. 
Yeah, wow. with sea urchin roe in there as well. Okay, uni and egg noodles, yes. Well, mm -hmm. both are eggs, actually. That's anyway. right. Actually, <laughs> when you think of it, yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is an update about the egg whites. The challenger was steaming those uh, Chinese spoons. He tells me the temperature was too high, and he didn't like how they turned out, so he says he's going to have to do them again. No, oh, okay. A little wow. bit too strong of a flame. Uh, Maybe too hard. What a shame. Well, he can send his rejects right over here. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Well, as you may or may not know, egg whites, they start to harden at around 140 degrees, hmm. and they stop hardening at about a 176. So if wow. you're higher than that, it's just not going to work. The science of eggs. So no <laughs> go for another try. Uh, he doesn't have to panic. Challenger Wong, wow. and right now, look at this. Oh, the noodles. Doc, care to comment? <laughs> just it's so thin. Wow, almost like so man noodles. Yes, isn't it? man with an extra fine touch, much thinner than any noodles you'd ever find at a Chinese restaurant here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow, the man has got some serious skills. Oh, I mean, thin oh. is in with this man. <laughs> look at him chop. Wow, that's for sure. And the precision yeah. being exhibited mm. by Wong. Look at that, almost oh. like man and machine merging right mm -hmm. here. We are really seeing something special in this challenger well, today. It's, it certainly shows a lot for his training right there. All right, wow. back to the Iron Chef now. Pot of hot oil, some tempura action perhaps. And some herbs maybe? I can't, I can't see. Yes. The ingredients that you're seeing being made into tempura are egg whites and ukiko flour for the batter and lobster meat. Lobster. All right, oh, some lobster why. tempura. Huh. And okay. raising the ante with that one, and now on oh. Wong's side. The shao mai. Oh, the shao mai, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. getting that together Just right there. some seafood in there, too. Okay, looks like it's been through the because processor. I'm, yes. Yes, I also have the filling ingredients for these shao mai, egg whites, prawns, and bamboo shoots, which were all pureed together in the food processor. Oh, I see. Okay, so uh -huh. it's got the eggs in there, too. Mm -hmm. Of course, the theme ingredient. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, oh, look at the Iron Chef here. He's frying, what is it? Cheese bits and egg white? That's what he's got over there? Oh, and the sticks. Yeah, the little, little skewers oh. that he's got. Cheese on oh, a stick. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that could be very nice, actually. Mm -hmm. And egg white being used as the batter for the deep fry. Oh, so the cheese was nothing really all that important, it seems. Mm -hmm. nothing no, special that's nothing that. special, yeah. really. Just 30 really. minutes have elapsed. All right, 30 minutes gone into the second half. Mm, I think I could even make that one. <laughs> well, here's his second stab at it with the egg whites. How'd they turn out? We shall see. Because yes. This time he says they are perfect. All right, good to hear that. Right. Yeah. Now we've got the Iron Chef with some, what is that, is that beef? Yes, looks mm -hmm. like some ground beef over there. Yeah, maybe it's got some pork mixed with it. And he's put a little miso in it, I caught that part. Okay, that, could be, that up. The, uh, could be for the chap chay. <laughs> Okay. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> well, it's got the beef cooking nice for it. Well, we, we've got to guess at something here. Okay. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we may have to double check this later, but that mysterious chapje sounds like a stir fried dish that includes vermicelli, among other things. Mm. All right, well, there's the Asian for you. Okay, I think I know now. In Thailand or Indonesia, for that matter, they have dishes that use uh, a vermicelli. Type and stir of thing. fried with other ingredients in it, including yeah. the egg, for example. All right, yeah. and okay. that could go over fine for the Iron Chef in the tasting today. Okay, mm. I see. And mm, it's let's like see. Asian ethnic food, really, isn't it? Very much so, yeah. Mm. It's going to have a, a, that strong Asian flavor to mm, it. Yeah. All right. Right. On. Yes. This information has just come to my attention. The challenger is ready to put the finishing touches on his dessert. I believe this is the dessert that we're talking about right here. All right, adding strawberries okay. to it. The one that with the, the swallow's nest. Imagine that. Mm, it's kind of like something from a southern island. And now the flower right there, Tawada-san. How about a poem for that? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I thought just the visuals would spur you. Yeah, I'm just overwhelmed with the cooking. <laughs> and, you know, All so right, well, maybe later, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, here on the Iron Chef the side. The is ready. Oh, wow, okay, courtesy good. of Michiba. And, but where are the eggs? No eggs yet mm. in there. Well, you remember those those thin pieces that he had? I think he's going to shred them and then okay. put it on almost like uh, a cover. Right? right, the crepe that he was okay. making mm -hmm. in the rectangular pan. The vermicelli and ground meat go well together, I would oh. think, in something like this. Yeah, very, very. Mm. All right, now over here, let's see the... Um, let's see vermicelli? No, that's no. shark fin. Okay, the shark oh. fin's unloaded. Okay, so he'll put that spoon-shaped egg white around that now. Think so? Line them around? Oh, that's how they're used. Right, they'll be for a decoration. Oh, wow, how pretty. And I, I'm, I'm guessing just around the edge of the dish. And the representation? Like flower petals, perhaps. Okay, but yeah. first, some Shanghai cabbage going down. Oh, you're right. There's some. What about uh, representing a sunflower? 15 minutes that could to go. Very well be, okay, yeah. 15 minutes left. Mm, and like now this. Design. Okay, the Iron yeah. Chef side working on. Hands on, go. Yeah, let me give you the seasonings that the Iron Chef has used for this dish soy sauce, sesame seed oil, garlic, and lemon juice. Mm. So that's it then. Straight ahead, Japanese. Yeah, now 
we're eggs. adding right here. Oh, there's the shredded eggs. Clearing the theme Doc, requirement. you were right on that. Yeah, and it's uh, very spring-like, mm -hmm. actually, isn't it? Southeast Asian celebration by the Iron Chef, his, uh, the... Chapche. Okay, Ch <laughs> Chapche of what? Because <laughs> I don't know. Yes. I made the comment to Iron Chef Misha that he's created some unusual egg dishes today, and he said, hey, not too long ago, I prepared 230 different egg recipes in just 10 days. When he told me that, I was impressed. Oh, wow. <laughs> Quick math. That's 23 a day. That's what he said. Almost one an hour. That's what he calls a major challenge. That's what he calls a major challenge. <laughs> Broke a lot of eggs over those 10 days. Chris <laughs> Yes. Challenger Wong, who was a bit nervous and panicky in the beginning, interestingly enough, says he's settled down since hearing the 15 minutes to go call now that he knows that he can pull off all the dishes that he planned to have. All right, from his expression, looks to be in control of things over yeah. there. And hey, did you catch that? <laughs> okay, he says. Everybody understands that in the kitchen, no matter where you're from. Now that Xiao Mai is finished. All right, Challenger Wong rolling right along. So many of the challenges. Challengers come in here thinking they'll be able to handle the pressure. However, more than a few come unglued, crash and burn. But with Wong, it could be the Iron Chef is the one who's feeling the heat today. Now Michiba putting something here in the cocktail glasses. Yeah, the egg noodles. His the uni salmon noodles. Right, yeah. Okay, perhaps to be enjoyed with the dip or some kind of sauce. Yeah, I don't know. Not a lot in the glasses, though. Mm. Yeah, good point. It's an appetizer. Yeah, maybe. definitely. Mm. All right, Iron Chef over on his side, unloading operation from the pot into the bowl. Okay, but the question that's on all our minds. Where are the eggs? We've said that before. <laughs> really? I think you'll probably cover this with uh, egg as well. Ah. Top of this one. Uh, like a, the, the egg white in oh, milk. So, okay, not beaten eggs to be swirled in. No, 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 no. no okay. Just that, that other concoction that we saw earlier. Okay, he's got that on the stove over there. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Mm. All right, Iron Chef working on that dish. There it is there, yeah. So, uh, that's Ten minutes guessing. to go. Ten, ten minutes oh, left now, and here he goes with it. Good job on that one, Hattori-san. Bingo. Hey, See? all right. I called it. Put that one together all right. <laughs> I'm surprised he's doing this at this stage, though. I think his intention is to kind of hide what's underneath, put a cover on it. Sort of like a veil on it. Sort of yeah, like yeah. an overcast morning in spring Ooh. or something? <laughs> I think it's more like the, the last snowfall of the season. Okay, last shot of spring snow. Or how about snow remaining on the ground, bidding farewell to us? Okay, you I'm know. not going to try to take on a poet. What a son, time's running out. Go for it. Now, long side, salmon row, what and sea urchin row. Ikara and uni. Either oh. of these go uh, used much in Chinese cooking? No, you don't see them together, but, you know, he's been in Japan for a while. He's maybe become a little bit more familiar with his ingredients here. He's expanded his horizons. Yeah. So pretty. Okay, some Love nice that. contrast with the colors. And come to think of it, Ikura is also egg. That's eggs, true, right? right? Mm. And the Iron Chef using salmon row as well. All right. Mm -hmm. but just look at the, the colors on that. Oh. And here's the challenger using sea urchin row. Oh, he's got the uni. So they're both using the same techniques, wow. just different types of eggs. Dishes on both sides yeah. looking great. Yeah. Now, Michiba, <laughs> these lobsters have been in the steamer, and we'll see what he's going to do with these. Okay, this will be for decoration. Okay, pretty yeah. dynamic presentation statement. Looks like the whole thing's going to be used. And that will be the plate to hold the tempura. Uh -huh. With the lobster right, tempura? tempura? Yeah, yeah. All right, so now the challenger, decoration. Wong, boiling his noodles. Those out, yeah. Probably going to get these, put these in a soup. Uh -huh. Yeah, it would be a clear soup. That would be the logical way to go. All right, that's there. The soup name of that is? Qintan soup. Okay. The, the Chinese character is actually clear when you write it. And it's taking from the, Qing Dynasty. the noodles off in a way there. Yeah, well, he's preparing the noodles once uh, once again. They're, they're ready, but he's just going to dump them dump in once more. Goodness, pre-treatment right there. <laughs> wow, well, I've never seen this process. All right, now the noodles here by the challenger, I believe. These were made using just the egg white, right? Is that correct? But didn't he use the whole egg? Okay, he used the yolks as well? Now, if we can get a shot of the Iron Chef right now. He's doing his decorating again on that. Oh, wow. wow this is Another spring-related presentation. Yeah. yeah. Man alive, has he gone to town Squeeze on that? On. Yes. <laughs> While looking at this dish by the Iron Chef, you'll notice two colors of fried items, yellow and white. The yellow batter was made from egg yolks left over from the egg noodles and ukiko flour, while the white batter was made from egg whites and ukiko flour. Back to you. Oh, okay, wow. and using some That's spring cool. herbs that have just come out of the snow. As well, well, spring has arrived. There shall be growth. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, representing the beginning of the season. Three minutes All right, to go. three minutes left, and there's the Iron Chef snow-covered stew of shark fins and abalone, a great-looking dish, the concept and execution of it, and the Iron Chef having to elevate today against Wong, this Chinese chef, a man who's cooked for the top leaders of his country, now working in Japan, and today in Kitchen Stadium, taking eggs and creating some magical dishes of his own in this excellent battle with Iron Chef Michiba, and there's the Iron Chef's dish, his cocktail of uni, salmon noodles, handmade noodles, a
prawn on top and whoa that looks appetizing zooming in on that one and now challenger wong his gently steamed oh, egg white okay. dollops going on top they're yeah, not around okay. doc no i, I not wasn't on that top far of off okay <laughs> you're in the ballpark the dish here is said to be one of the favorites of the late Dong Xiaoping, and now a minute to go the final 60 seconds wong's translator making sure he understands that he's got to have the dishes cooked and off and plated yeah. at the end of this last minute cool calm and in control he is and the sauce being poured over it now boy is that mouth watering yeah i just noticed that could be an egg sauce there not quite sure tasters will find out they are in store for a series of treats with these dishes today seconds now 30 seconds to go. left cooking done on both sides it appears michiba battling a man today who's got a qualification for high class chinese cooking acquired by one thousandth of a percent of all chefs in china it may as well be one in a million given this man's background but you gotta figure he's even money got an even money chance of pulling this one out the iron chef a few finishing touches left here at the end challenger wong's put it all Five down seconds. on his side he has done his Three, dishes in the books two, the iron chef too one. walking off walking away final seconds tick down and that's it the cooking's done what a show the egg battle is over Wonderful job. Thank you very much. So, was it difficult for you to manage everything given the limited one hour time frame that we have on the show? Well, it was my first time to be here and I was not familiar with this kitchen and my Japanese is not good enough, but uh, well, I was very nervous. Okay, I see. And how do you feel your dishes turned out today? Well, I'm satisfied with them. All right. Any comments or impressions about yes. Challenger Wong today? Well, he's young, uh -huh. energetic, working in the front line. Yeah. I knew I had to keep my focus all the way through. Uh huh. I did my best. Challenger Wong is offering four dishes. First, egg white on shark's fins. The spoon-shaped egg white pieces represent flower petals. Their mild flavor softens the thick and powerful taste of stewed shark's fins. Second, egg and shrimp shao mai. Prawn paste wrapped inside a thin omelet skin. The sea urchin and salmon roe on top add natural saltiness to the dumplings. Third, longevity egg noodles, the late Deng Xiaoping's most favorite dish. Same as the one served at the party for his 80th birthday. Its simplicity reflects the challenger's confidence. Last, Phoenix's Nest. The name says it all, a dessert for royalty. The texture of Swallow's Nest and the sweetness added by the eggs are what key the dish. Iron Chef Michiba counters with his set of four. First, egg yolk noodles, a blend of egg yolk and sea urchin roe, harmonized skillfully by the aroma of citrus juice, result in these noodles of a profound depth. Second, shredded omelet on chapche, hearkening the arrival of spring. The ground meat fried in sesame seed oil is a simply marvelous match with the Japanese vermicelli. Third, fried lobster and herbs. Egg yolk representing gold and egg white representing silver make it a dish for a celebration. Lobster, herbs, and cheese all heightened by the pair of exquisite batters he's created. And last, snow-capped delight. Under the surface of egg white, tasters will find shark's fins and abalone. Resting gently atop the fluffy egg white, caviar provides the accent. The certification for the very top chefs in China, only one thousandth of a percent of the country's chefs possess it. This man currently working in Japan has one. Today's challenger, Wang Zhijian. It'll be his best against the best in Japanese cuisine with Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme, thinking out of his shell and giving the men the versatility of eggs. And Challenger Wong comfortably cooks his way to a lavish looking foursome. Iron Chef Michiba busting eggs finishes with a mighty fine quartet as well. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the egg battle are poet Machi Tawara, actress Mayuko Takata, and former lower house member Shinichiro Kurimoto. First, the dishes of Challenger Wong, who thanks the Academy for today's opportunity. And he will begin by serving the egg white on shark's fins. 
the texture and flavor, they're just uh, so mild. I, I could keep eating this all day. I mean, you know, the shark fin itself has a deep flavor to it, and what he's done here is he's, he's heightened that to, to a dish, well, for connoisseurs, actually. The thick flavor of the shark's fin is very, uh, very expertly wrapped with the egg white, um, I think, here. I really, yes, I really like this a lot. Sea urchin, salmon roe, and eggs. It's a fun combination. It's a nice idea, these three different eggs. Uh-huh. I think you used a bit too much sea urchin and salmon roe. They added too much saltiness to it, in my opinion. But for visual appeal, I can see your point in using this much. It's very pleasing to the eyes. I made this for Deng Xiaoping for his 80th birthday. This is very good. <laughs> yes, really good. Japanese people expect a firm texture and noodles, but this has opened my eyes to another approach. It really floats in my mouth. It's, it's like um, cloud-like, very gentle, soft ethereal. It looks very sophisticated, and well, it tastes that way too. There's, there's so much depth to this. I've never tried noodles like this before. So this too, of course, has eggs in it, and, uh, well, I hope you enjoy it. In this soup made from milk and eggs, the fruity smell of strawberries adds a real nice accent. It's really good. (laughs) Well, you put one in your mouth, and it feels like the flavor is just spreading all over your body. It's so soft. This is really, this this is a masterpiece, I think. Really, it is. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Michiba. Very nice. The use of yuzu is so clever. Yes. <laughs> it is, yes. First there was the aroma of citrus, and then as I was enjoying the noodles, the flavor of the sea urchin roe came to the fore almost afterwards. It's very enjoyable. There's some crab meat and other meats inside as well. Mm, good. The shredded omelet is the only form of egg in this, and um, I think it could have been nice with more eggs as the main ingredient of this dish, you know, to clear the theme on this mm. one. Well, I thought if I made all of the dishes eggs upon eggs that you might get fed up. So... My intention was to insert one that would, well, be light on eggs. And now coming their way, the fried lobster and herbs. I've seen two-tone tofu, you know, yellow and white, representing gold and silver. You use the batter to do that, right? The batter with egg yolk and egg white for the two colors, you know. The idea of uh, expressing gold and silver with the color of batter is, is very unique. You know, these fried items here, they just, well, it forces you to really make up your mind. The cheese, the lobster, and an herb here, all of them are accentuated. And, well, the eggs and the batter, they're, they're speaking up too. This is the ultimate of ultimates. This is just, just delicious. This is good. Oh. This is good. This is even more powerful. <laughs> I feel embarrassed only being able to say this is good, but, you know, it's really good. And I, of course, understand how this was made because I was watching, but if this was served without knowing what was going into it or seeing you do it, I'd be very curious to find out what's underneath this fluffy egg white, you know? Well, he really has used uh, all, all of his ammunition today. No, that's for sure. A lot of eggs broken today. Now we'll see which way the verdict breaks. Japan. <laughs> 
それぞれの料理界の頂点に立つ2人が作り上げた今日の卵料理挑戦者の作品を試食してみて杜昌平氏の舌がいかに超えているかということを実感できましたどちらに手を挙げるか非常に難しい試合でしたそれでは発表しますマグニフィセントバトルトレイ2シェフスフォーム・ザ・クッキング・ストラテスフィアアイオンシェフ・ミチバナンバーワンインジャパンバトルインシェフ・ザ・ライクス・オブ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ・ウィッチ